To pair your receiver, first make sure your keyboard is fully charged, then turn it on. This light will come on, then it turns off, that's normal. Then right here is the escape key. Make sure you press the escape key and keep holding it down, then hit the K or Kilo key. See how it's now flashing? Then take your USB receiver and put it into a USB port in your computer. Now it's done. It should type. If it doesn't, because one time I did it and mine didn't type, all I had to do is remove this receiver and put it back in and then it started typing. So if you do have trouble, try that. These keyboards charge over here on the side with these micro USB cables, which I don't really like. They're not reversible. They're kind of the old style. If you want to upgrade that, I'll tell you a great product for that are these. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but you just take this and put him right in his place and you leave it there and then there's a magnetic cable that you plug in to any USB 5 volt charging source just get it near there and it'll start charging what I love about it you can pull it off put it on I'm leaving an Amazon affiliate link for this little product it doesn't just work for this keyboard It'll also work on your phone to charge your phone. And this is how I charge my e-reader. Like I say, that way you can just snap it off, get it near, it comes on. Down below this video, I'll leave a link. This is Ron from Fixing Stuff in Black and White, signing off.